additional jail time for Jason Van Dyke. There was a push to add time to the former police officer's sentence, but CBS 2's Jim Williams reports today the Illinois Supreme Court said no. My findings are an appropriate sentence would be 81 months. When Judge Vincent Gaughan sentenced Jason Van Dyke to less than seven years in prison, protesters called it a slap on the wrist. We don't need him, need him. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul and the trial prosecutor we'll Joseph McMahon urged the state Supreme Court to allow Van Dyke to be resentenced, arguing Van Dyke should have been sentenced on 16 counts of aggravated battery, not just the second degree Senator murder conviction in or... the killing of Laquan McDonald. This is the first step in asking the court to declare that the trial court improperly sentenced Jason Van Dyke. Today, the state's highest court voted four to two not to hear the case with no explanation. We're old this afternoon. We recognize and respect the Supreme Court's authority. Van Dyke's legal team insisted Raul was playing politics with the volatile case. Today, attorney Dan Herbert said he was happy but not surprised. Thankfully, they uh, looked at this and they, they, they did it in a way in which we think was appropriate. Van Dyke could be released from prison as early as three years from now. Attorney Steve Block, who's not connected to the case, believes the sentence will stand. I think the Illinois Supreme Court weighing in here really is it on this issue. I think it's unlikely that we will see these issues in this case litigated further. Both candidates for mayor criticized the Supreme Court's decision. Lori Lightfoot called it a, quote, sad reminder to create a system free of institutional racism. Tony Preckwinkle compared Van Dyke's sentence to that of the man convicted of murdering teenager Hydea Pendleton. There's a lot of difference between 81 months and 84 years, she said. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.